Hi guys, in this video I hope to show you why RStudio is used. And remember that RStudio is just an environment for you to use R. So let's go to R and write some code and then see how it would look uh, in R versus RStudio. So here's R and all you get in R when you open it is this console window. And it's where you can write some code and you can see there's this cursor down here blinking saying you know give me some code I want some code uh, first thing we'll do is clear out this text here so press control L and that text goes away that was just text about licensing and how R is free now let's uh, write some code and to do that I'm just going to um, assign some numbers to a vector so I need a variable and I'm just gonna write the name of a variable vec1 I need an assignment operator in R, the assignment operator is not this equal sign. The assignment operator is the backwards arrow. That's just convention left over from a previous language that R generated from. So don't be scared by this, you know, backwards arrow. It looks weird at first, but you'll get used to it. Just think of it as an equal sign. And then to create a vector of numbers, just do C open bracket one comma two comma three. And now when I press enter and then I print out VEC1, I have 1, 2, and 3. So I hit VEC1, enter, and there's my vector of numbers. And you can see this cursor is still blinking, saying, give me more. So this console is just a place for you to write code and get immediate output. How do we, um, how do we write code and then save it down so we can use it tomorrow or the next day? You're going to want to write in uh, what's called a script file so go to file new script and here is where you can write some code like we just did hopefully I could copy it in here and here in the script file I can write that same code but now I have to do this uh, vec1 you know vec1 I assign my numbers and then I use this print function to print out VEC1. And when I, you know, I have to save this, this script file down, so I'm going to do Control S. It'll pop up this window to say, where do you want to save this? You know, save script as. I'm just going to put as, name it my uh, vector print. I'll name it vector print. And I'll save it in this R projects folder. So now, you can see here I have this vector print dot R file this is an R script so it has that's why it ends in dot R so now I have this dot R file and let me control let me clear this console again so now um, I have this file with my code in it and I wanna I wanna call it so this is how it would work in the real world where you have a bunch of code in a file here's my file with code in it and you use the console to call that code and to do that you're going to need to know, you know, the console and R needs to know where this file is. So one thing you want to check is, you know, this. You want to do git wd, which is the working directory. It it just means where am I at right now? Where is R looking for files? R is looking for files in this C users m slash documents, but my file is in C users m slash desktop R projects. So I have to change this working directory. And to do that, I'm going to do set WD. I'm just going to copy this. And now I can, instead of doing M documents, it's going to be M. Oops. going to be M uh, desktop slash R projects Oops. Uh, so I think I put it in the wrong. 
I don't think I need this here. Ah, because I have projects here, not project. So you can see I'm getting errors here. It's because I don't have the S for the projects. And how I can get this line back, if, if you've been wondering, is like I've been clicking the up arrow. And then when you click the up arrow, you you get the code that you just wrote. And if you click the down arrow, so you can iterate through the history of your lines that you've been writing. So what I want to do is put an S here. And I'll, now I'll click Enter, and I didn't get an error. So now I could do get WD. And all I'm doing here is, remember, get WD is saying, what, what working directory am I in? So where is R looking for any files it wants to use? Well, it's looking here now because I changed it up here by using this set WD, which is setting the working directory. So now I can call this vector print.r file by doing this. Uh, source, oops, over here in my console, I could do source uh, vector print.r. And when I hit enter, there you see one, two, three. So this line here, source, that function, calls this file, vectorprint.r. And if I put other things in here, like a plot of vector1 by using the plot function, and I save it, and now I click the up arrow in the console, it'll bring me to the last line I wrote. And if I hit enter again, I get the printing of the vector, and I get this plot here. Okay. So this is the typical situation on a very, very basic level when you use just R, not with RStudio. This is just R. You have a console that can call information. It could call files or it can, you know, it could call simple stuff, simple operations like assignment and you could write functions and stuff. But um, the main thing is calling files here. So you save some file here with some code in it and you have to call it here. You have to watch out for the working directory. All kinds of stuff you have to keep track of. Then you get some plot outputs here. And pretty soon, this becomes a pain in the ass just for a very simple, you know, three lines of code where you want to create a vector and print it and see it in a plot. It becomes kind of hard because you have all these windows floating around, right? And let's say I do a different plot of the vector 1 multiplied by 40. If I save it down now and do and do uh, and run it again, well here's 40, 60, uh, 40, 80, 100 or 120 in my plot, but where did the other plot go, you know? So you, you don't you lose track of your plots here. So if you have a source file with many plots and you run it again, you're going to lose track of plots. You're going to sort of be clicking through all these windows. You probably already are already confused and you're thinking this is a real pain. So now let me just take this bit of code here and let's open up our studio real quick. And hopefully in five minutes you'll see why our studio is really awesome and why R is. And you'll see why R. That was an error uh, because I had a project that was already open. But don't worry about that error. You probably, you definitely will not see that error. Um, so I just opened up our studio, and what you'll first notice is that it has this console window here. This console is equivalent, the same thing as the console window in R. Remember that R Studio is just a way for you to use R. So that would mean everything in R has to be in our studio, and it is, only it's organized much, much better. And the first thing you'll notice is that console is organized over here. So I, you know, here's the blinking cursor again. I could type in some code. But I don't want to use the console here. I want to create a script file like we did before. To do that, uh, I want to put that script file in a project. And projects makes things make things very organized. So go to File, New Project, and this is how you're going to program in R. You want to create these files that keep things very organized. So you want to click New Directory and then Empty Project. And I have a folder here called R Projects. It's on my desktop. And I want to put an R project in that folder called 
you know my first project hit enter and it'll take a second and you'll see this little circle calculating and now I have my first project so what is a project it's just a project consists of all your source files and it'll it's uh, it has this dot R P R O J after it and it allows you to you know click on a project once you once you've created it and it'll open up this environment so you'll see all the files that you created so let's create a file what we're going to create is an R and uh, an R script again just like we did before in R we'll create an R script but notice what happens when I create an R script before you know I had and my R script over here and here was my console and I you know it's not very organized I could get confused well now in our studio here's my script area where I can write scripts here's my console area so I'm gonna paste in the code from my R script and I'm gonna save it I'm gonna notice that it says untitled here but then I'm gonna press control s I'm gonna save it and call it uh, you know print vector hit hit save and what what just happened well the name of the file up here is called print vector and there it is there's the file it's in my project um, and you could see that this this project is at C users M desktop our projects my first project so it's very clear with our studio you know where are you at you're here and what files are in your project here they are and if you to see them you could just click that and you'll see the code in that file here now when you run this so if I click control shift enter here I get what I what I saw before you know here's my console and it it tells me what happened just like before in R here's my uh, let's see here's my console and it's telling me you know what's happening and I could still see that in our studio so the console is the exact same in in our studio it shows you what's happening but what's really cool is that um, you can see your plots very in an organized fashion in this plots tab and you could scroll through them so here's my first plot of vector one one two three here's my second plot of vector two or vector one times forty you know forty eighty one twenty and you could see that plot you could zoom in on the plot you could export the plot save the plot you can uh, do all kinds of stuff with the plot so already you see the advantage of why our studio is useful and you could move these windows over like this you can minimize them like this and then uh, bring them back you could raise them up like this and bring them down but already you see the advantage um, so let's just go through a couple of the, more of these windows here um, remember here is your called the source window where you write scripts this is where you're going to be spending most of your time here's the console window so if you ever want to write you know code in the console you could you could always write code down here and assign you know the number four to f and then print f um, <clears throat> when you do that in the console uh, or when you write a script and you and you run it up here you'll see in this window the environments and the history tabs and the environment shows you your your variables that you're working with so I have this vector one <coughs> and it's here it shows me that vector one <coughs> is numeric and it's it has the values one two and three and it also has this F which has a value four and that's because down in the console I assigned four to the value to the uh, variable F so that is pretty awesome because now you can see all the variables you're working with and if you have a a big <coughs> chunk of code with matrices and all kinds of stuff and you have 50 variables you're, you're going to be able to see them and later on you can you can see that w you're able to double click on them and you could see the, the actual data here also in the environments tab you can import a data from a text file by clicking on the text file and, and importing that I could probably put that in another video you can import data from a web website um, by entering the URL here and once you do that once you do that by importing you'll see the data here 
in the environments you could double click it and it'll pop up a tab here where you can see the data <clears throat> and you could call it automatically but we'll do that in another video um, on the history tab this is the history of what you're printing in the console so here um, F I assigned four to the value F that's what this is um, if you want to make this a source file so you can highlight that line and if I create a new file here and I'm just gonna go new file our script and go test and I'll save it as a file called test so now I have two files in my project print vector and test and I could see that over here it automatically um, puts them in the project but let's say I, I wrote something down in the console and I want to make it into the source file I can just highlight these lines by there I just highlight I clicked on this line and did held on the control key and click the line above it and I could go to source what that does is it takes those two lines and puts them on whatever file is active in the source window over here and so if I save it now <clears throat> and I can I run this file you'll see you know I just took some code from the console by using this to source <clears throat> button here but mainly by using the history tab here so this history is the history of any code you write in the console um, and then down here like we've seen already the files tab shows you all your files you can rename files you can delete files by using these buttons up here you can see your plots we already went over this tab and then here which is pretty cool um, you can see all the packages that R contains so if you're not familiar with R it's open source and people submit pa what they call packages that contain functions or data sets that other people can use and this what this is what makes R so powerful because you have guys with PhDs um, or, or very smart making packages that you can use to do cool stuff with <coughs> And when you want to get access to uh, those packages, it's real easy in our studio. You just uh, search for a package by, you know, if thinking you know its name, you know, you could start typing here. And here's all the all the packages that begin with S. And you could click on one, and you could install it. Um, so you could easily access the thousand, many hundreds or thousands of packages that exist in R. Actually I'm not sure how many, but it's over over <coughs> excuse me, it's over many hundred. So you can install packages here. You could install packages in R by uh, doing like install. There's an install command. But why do that? Because you have R Studio. You just do use this over here. If you're stuck in R and let's say uh, you're stuck with the max function so just search for max over here on the help tab and click on one of the uh, results that comes up and you'll get you'll get some you get some uh, description of what the max function is and what it does and tons of detail and examples down here um, all kinds of stuff all kinds of help that's the help tab <coughs> the viewer tab um, I've never done anything with that these are the most important tabs here files plots packages and help one other really cool thing with our studio is um, it has the autocomplete so if you're stuck with something like if you don't know the plot function just type PL and then tab and press the tab button and then it brings up all kinds of all the functions or variables or user-defined functions that you write that may begin with those letters you can see there's a lot here and you can click on one and it'll complete it for you you could also just <clears throat> press tab again on whatever one you're on so if I'm on this one and press tab again it'll complete it for you uh, so let's do that So, 
and then you could so then so that's what the autocomplete does it allows you to see all the functions <coughs> by typing some letters and then you could see uh, the arguments that are passed to these functions um, <coughs> that it that doesn't exist in regular R so this is the, the power of our studio um, that's it for this video the main takeaways that you should have noticed is R is sort of a pain by itself because you have to save these source files down you have to then call them you have to set the working directory make sure everything is correct there <coughs> in our studio there's tons of benefits you create a file in this window over here you write your source code and it's easy to quickly create new new files you, you still have your console available to you. You could do whatever you want with that. The history of that console is stored up here. The variables you're, you're using are going to be stored over here. You could click on them. Here's the information about them and the values they store. Um, you can import data from the web or a text file here. You can, um, <clears throat> you can down here see all the files in your project. You can see all your plots export zoom in you can install packages really easily you can get help really easily and that's why our studio is super powerful and <clears throat> much better than just using our alone sorry for my cough throughout the latter part of this video but that's it for this video and we'll continue next time